This is a demonstration of how to make a custom toolbar. Custom toolbars are used for a lot of different things in the program. Uh, you can really speed up your process if you need to make a toolbar for things you're going to do repetitively. I'm going to do a future video of how to make a custom font for the professional level and therefore I'm going to make a custom toolbar for I items that I'm going to need to do that. Um, you can use this for virtually anything but for me for this this is why I'm going to make a custom toolbar to help speed up that process. So I'm just going to right click on any gray area of any of the toolbars that currently exist and I'm going to select customize. Okay then from here I'm going to select toolbars. I'm going to create a new toolbar and I'm going to call it Mike's new toolbar or Mike's toolbar. Okay, click OK. And you see I have a little toolbar that's just blank. Okay, then I'm going to take which commands I want and I'm going to put them in there. So to create a new file or a new font, I'm going to need the select mode. There it is. Okay, I'm going to need uh, the block edit mode. I'm going to need image span. And I'm going to need a function that's listed down here, which is export as character. There we go. Modify export as character. You can right click and say that how do I want these buttons to appear? Okay. This is text. Okay. Image span text. You see that way that's done? Then if you go to button appearance, you can actually change the name. Like if I don't want this to be as character because it's kind of long, I can just go in here and rename this AC because I know personally that means as character. Okay. Close this. Now I have a new toolbar. I can float it, dock it, do whatever I want with it, just like any other toolbar in the system.